let's consider this example here. Find the limit of the following expressions. Now, to find the limit of a given function, the first thing that you should do is just evaluate the function at the given x, meaning to say, this is my function f of x. I will just take that expression and evaluate it at x equals 1 in the first case. If you get any finite number, that is the answer. If you get an answer that is 0 over 0, and also if you get infinity, we'll have a separate discussion on that one. So like in this case here, okay, this is just equal to 2 times, you, you pick the value here, 1, 1 cube minus 6 times 1 plus 5. Uh, 1 cube is just equal to 1, so 2 times 1, 2 times 1, minus 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5. So negative 6 plus 5 is equal to negative 1. 2 times 1, I'll just put a parenthesis, 2 times 1 is 2. So this is just equal to 2 minus 1, and that is equal to 1. So therefore, the limit of 2x cubed minus 6x plus 5 as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. Now let's proceed to letter B. Find the limit of the square root of x plus 6 over x plus 2 as x approaches 3. Again, the first thing that you should do is get the expression here. This is your f of x and evaluate that at x is equal to 3. So in this case here, this is just equal to the square root of, replace x by 3, 3 plus 6 all over, replace x by 3, 3 plus 2. So you have square root of 3 plus 6, so square root of 9 over 5. The square root of 9 is equal to 3, 3 over 5. So the answer here, the limit of this function as x approaches 3 is equal to 3 over 5 given f of x equal to 4 minus x squared and g of x is equal to square root of x plus 1. Letter A, find the limit of f of x as x approaches 1. Meaning to say we look at the function f of x here, we pick that function and evaluate it at x equals 1. That is the first step. So 4 minus and then replace x here by 1. So 1 squared. Well, 1 squared is equal to 1, so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Letter B. Find the limit of g of x as x approaches 3. So meaning to say you just have to get the function g of x and replace x here by 3. So that is equal to the square root of 3 plus 1. The square root of 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, and square root of 4 is equal to 2. Now, what about limit of g of f of x? If you recall, this is actually a composite function. So what's the limit of the composition of two functions? What's the formula? So this is just equal to g of the limit of f of x as x approaches 1. Okay, so what is limit of f of x as x approaches 1? That is our answer in letter A. And that is equal to 3. So this is therefore just equal to g of 3. And what is g of 3? Meaning just evaluate the function at 3. This is just equal to the square root of 3 plus 1. Like what we got in letter B. And that is equal to 2. So therefore the limit of g of f of x is equal to 2. 
Now, what's an alternative solution for letters? And you would still end up with the same answer if you do that. All you need to do is get the expression first for g of f of x. So take the composition of two function. What does that mean? Meaning to say that I would replace x here by f of x, by the expression for f of x. So this is the same as 4 minus x squared plus 1. So then this expression here is equal to square root of 5 minus x squared. And then once you have that one, then you take the limit of the limit of g of f of x, and we know that g of f of x is just equal to the square root of 5 minus x squared. And then take the limit as x approaches 1. So this is just equal to the limit of the square root of 5 minus x squared as x approaches 1. And to take the limit, all you need to do is replace x by 1. So this is the same as 5 minus 1 squared. So 5 minus 1 is equal to the square root of 4, and that is equal to 2. And you end up with the same result, okay? Whatever solution you want to choose, you would end up with the same answer. So I would suggest that you do the, this first solution. You follow the formula. The formula for finding the limit of a composition of two functions, so when you have something like this, all you need to do is find the limit of the innermost function and then evaluate the outermost function, evaluate this function here, by the limit of f of x as x approaches 1.